Well, that's what we're here for. More copper, that's always a good thing. Oh, get that block. Okay, and on we go. Oh, another one. Why? Where are you all coming from? No. Uh, Ow, why? Ow. Stop. Ah. Ah. No. Uh. Oh, I hate every minute. Ah, no. What? Why? I don't want to do this anymore. Oh, I'm not going down there. Oh, he's just sitting there right next to me. What am I doing? Why is that bat inside out? What? I'm, okay. You, sir. You, you have to die. Don't. Okay. And... No, I'm not going down there. I'm out. I don't I don't care about the copper I'm going. <laughs> I still don't understand why there were so many creepers down there. It was crazy. Hey guys, it's me, Zinkberg. Welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play channel. Uh, I have copper from down there and that's it. I don't want to build with copper anymore. I don't. I don't, I don't want anything to do with it. If I have to go down there every time. No, I need to find a better way. I, I don't know what that is at the moment. Now, let me put this away. Okay, and let's talk about what we're going to do. I think that, yeah, just goes in there. Why don't I just shift and click instead of doing that? That's slow and tedious. Uh, and we need my elytra on, so let's get that on. And let's, uh, let's head down there. Let's have a look. Okay. Uh, fly. Down towards the palace to this beautiful garden. I need to look. I'm going to... Why am I here? Well, I want to show you what I've done since last week. No, I haven't done anything. I just really love this garden. <laughs> this is an awesome garden. I'm not going to do anything over here. I'm not, I, there's nothing to do over here. I really like this. There is something to do over here, but we're not going to address that this week. This week, I think, you know, we've got this beautiful garden. We've got all this new stuff that we've built. This guy is judging me. Sorry, the totem was distracting me. We've got this beautiful build up here. But there's a bit of a problem, and that is that with these beautiful gardens that we have now, I look at this and it looks a little bland. It's all looking a little bit too white. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to do those bits of the gardens down there, and then I'm going to try and add some colour or some texture or some detail or something like that to it so it looks a little less like a, I don't know, what do you, what do you call those white, is it alabaster models of things? I don't want it to look like that. I want it to look like a grand palace. So we'll do that and we'll also have a look at the interiors, which I never got around to. So let me hit a time lapse and I will be right back with you. Hey guys, it's me, Zinkberg. This is Zinkberg from the future. Uh, unfortunately, the bug that's been going around in um, replay mod has hit all of my replay mod my replay mod files very hard this week so unfortunately i don't have any time lapse i had all this great time lapse i was running around super fast building the things putting the stuff up doing the thing so the best i can do unfortunately is just to show and tell for you and i'm sorry about that i really didn't want to do that and i had quite a few hours of work in there that uh, unfortunately now are gone. So um, let's have a bit, sorry if I sound a bit disappointed, I'm just really disappointed. I've spent the last two hours editing and I can't get the replays to go. So we're just going to have to deal with it this way. Let's, um, I started over here because this is relaxing. This area just brings me joy. I get to see Eppendale over there in the corner um, in all its glory. It looks, it looks, ah, it looks beautiful over there. Uh, really, really the town is starting to come together and, and be over here. So let me, um, let me start with the gardens, what we've done. So I did exactly what I said I was going to do, which is I lowered this one here down and I lowered the one over here down. Actually, I cheated with this one. 
I didn't lower it down. I built an extra thing on the bottom and I don't like it very much because now there's just, you know what? It doesn't matter. No one's walking through here. It's just me. Um, there was something else. Oh, yes. I went too straight on the edge and now it looks a little sort of diamond shaped on that one when it should be round. Oh, I'll probably rip this one down and redo it, to be honest. So anyway, we have this one here is looking much better and I need to finish that one. Don't look at that one. Stop looking at it. Um, but I did move this one down and forgot some blocks in there. Boy, I'm having a good week. Aren't I? I mean, that's just... Oh, dear. All right. Well, anyway, from down on this level, look, we'll get down here. <laughs> it looks fine. <laughs> you can't see the blocks that I'm missing. <laughs> I took them all out. <laughs> And uh, and then when I took out the blocks underneath, I forgot they were torch blocks. So, yeah, look, let's. Um, I tell you what, let's let's because we we are a good person, we will put the torches back in. Uh, I don't need this many torches, but anyway, we'll do that. And next time I come down here, I will forget that I needed to bring mossy carpet with me. But we'll do that anyway. Um, so then, after we did this, I did a little stairwell here. I think it could look good and it could have sort of a pathway coming up and joining up over here. Um, I haven't worked out what I'm doing with the squid farm. So I don't know whether like this is the only entrance down and it's, I mean, there's so much black ink down there. I'm never going to need black ink ever again. Famous last words. All right, onto the palace, onto the palace. As you can see from the front of the palace, it has changed a fraction. If you don't remember, it was all white, basically. Now I have added these dark, the deep slate, um, the polished deep slate up around there. And if you look carefully, you can see inside here, there is a little hole. There is a hole there for a reason. So originally I was, um, oh, what, that doesn't work. Don't do that. Um, I was over here and using uh, that building there for storage. And although that's quite convenient while I'm up here, now that I'm sort of heading down this way, it's getting a little less convenient. And the biggest problem with it is that I'm, um, I'm going to need a lot more storage than what I have up there. So I have put a little hole in here and you can see the chess file in as I go in. I haven't actually done any sorting or anything. This is not going to be an automatic sorter of any sort. This is going to be a Zincberg powered uh, sorter. And the idea will be that I will just come here and dump all my bags and things. But there is quite a bit of of placement here there's there's a lot of chess the reason that it's sort of in an unfinished state like this is because I don't know if I'm going to do a second row and have another row of carpet in between depend on how I go I'm thinking that I'll probably do like stone and stone and cobblestone and cobblestone and andesite and andesite like do that have have six chests essentially free for everything that I, I want. I know that's probably overdoing it, but I would rather have too much than too little. So that's fine. So that's why this room looks the way it is. I put some lights up around the area by hanging those and just stuck these down temporarily in this location. So that's this level here. Let's jump downstairs before we have a look at the rest of the outside. So on the inside here, I I really had no plan. And because of the diagonal nature of the build, I'm, I'm finding it a little hard to do interior. I mean, I find interiors hard at the best of times anyway, but I'm finding it difficult. But here's what I did. I put down another red carpet in the middle here as sort of like the entranceway. And I wanted a hemline around the around the carpet, so I thought I'd put the trapdoors on. Realistically, I'd like them to be down one level on the top of the next block down, but if I put them there, well, I, I can show you. So aside from the fact that it's, um, no, why? Why would I, it, I'm tired, it's late, I'm tired. Um, the problem becomes that although the hemline looks better, 
it now it's down a level from where this is it probably looks better but then it's got the shadow underneath of all of this so I'm sort of in a position where I think I prefer it up on top and I don't need to use these oak trapdoors but I think they look cool so I'm going to leave them on I don't know why I went around that one to place it um, we have these funny little light posts sort of things coming up and I did light up this as well um, so I thought it would look like because when you do this with shaders on you get the shade underneath like this is there's some frog lights just underneath every sort of six blocks as you go down um, but I thought it would look like the light was sort of casting down onto the carpet from from these lights so that's why I did that um, and and I like them they sort of bring some wood into this part of the build and it, it gave the interior a little bit of a feel um, over on the sides here we've just got some stairs and some spruce stuff and some of these purple flowers that I can never remember the name of. They are Allium? Did I, did I get it? I, I'm not going to check. Did I get it? Allium? Allium? <laughs> Al 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 Aluminium. Ah, yes, we like it when I say that word. Um, yes, yeah, put those in just to keep that sort of pinkish purple sort of theme, which I have going around the outside of the build. I'll show you in a minute bookcases down the sides here and just some stairs going up that go along here um i like this that you can sort of see out into the the river and things like that and uh yeah and from this side over here you can actually see the the beautiful little bit of the beautiful gardens down there not a lot but you can see some of it the gazebo hiding down there um yeah so that and i've built a temporary city thing what do they call that? A throne, I guess, in a palace that you would have a throne. I didn't care much about the shape. It's on a diagonal. It's difficult. And I've just placed it down so that there's something there. Then put a stained glass window on the back here. Now, if you squint, uh, let me step back from a little bit. Uh, this is a perfect recreation of the shopping mall scene from the original Blues Brothers movie. So if you haven't seen that movie, go back and watch it and then you'll be able to see the picture and that's great. Um, so the, <laughs> the idea, don't, I mean, do, go and watch it. It's a good movie. So the idea is, right, you're going to come in, you're going to come in via some docks and things like that that are down here. I still don't know if this lake reaches the ocean it doesn't matter if it does or doesn't you would come in here you would walk all the way up to the palace you would speak to some person standing at the front here and they probably go like huh like that and then you'd they'd say go in and talk to the guy at the seat and you walk down this enormously tediously long red carpet and you go look i'm here to do some elf stuff and they go what sort of elf stuff? Yeah. Oh, you know, like um, I'm going to uh, ride those elephant things and uh, shoot some arrows and ride. <laughs> I don't know what elves do. Um, you know, some stuff and they go like, yeah, all right, just don't cause any trouble. No, nah, not going to cause any trouble. I, I could, <laughs> this is, this is fun. No, it's a, and when you walk on it, it's, it makes pretty noises. Anyway, that's the general idea. This will get removed and something better will be there eventually. Let me have a sleep and some food. I will be, uh, no, I will, I, yes, I will be right back. See, I just needed to sleep. It's okay. It's all right. Don't worry. I'm still here. Uncle Zinkberg's here. Um, oh, that's it. Um, yeah, now let's head to, let's head to free cam and have a look at the outside. Seems I can't show you in replay. Let's have a look on the outside. Uh, I need to do that. And then I need to do that. Oh, inside my head. And let's have a look. So we went around and I did, first thing is I replaced a lot of the end rods with soul lanterns. Um, I like the bluish tint and I think it feels better. Um, I went around and put the polished deep slate in on the main accents around the top here. I think I might still do them here and here like these these iron blocks. 
Um, I kind of like the deep slate. I also like the end rods up the top here, so I won't be removing them. Um, I still haven't done anything with this floor up here either, which is the open floor, but that's okay. Um, put some copper grates in for some colour. So just, just went along here or went all the way along with copper grates and then went, oh, no, I don't like that. Copper bulbs, they look pretty cool. So, yeah, threw that in just for a little bit of blue along the edge, like a blue seam along the edge there. Um, then replaced the iron trapdoors with uh, copper trapdoors down there and threw some more of the um, of the polished deep slate in, you know, at these accenting these little archway things and... And the little the little accents and stuff. So now it has a bit more sort of depth. You can still see it in this tower here. It's way too white. It needs some it needs some real contrast to it. So I will go through and do some contrast for that, and maybe even the front here too. Um, same stuff. Did all the same stuff on the other side. So we've yeah gone through and done both sides. That was a huge job. I actually thought that um, that doing that sort of thing would be very quick. I'm always learning, um, and I what I learnt was it's not quicker <laughs> to go through and recolor something than it was to build it originally. So anyway, that that was good fun. Um, oh. There is one more thing with that. What uh, what I also did, I did a little bit of texturing just up here, um, just to bring some shadow and things in. It's a bit hard to see. Let's take the shaders off there. And now you can see it a little bit better. So just some darkening behind these dark bits so that it looks a little, um, just a little less over white. And, and I think that's really added to it. And I think we've got... A really good beginning for a complete refurbishment of the way that this place looks but it does really look good to me and as we step back now with those gardens and that bit of sort of a little red tongue sticking through there I think that I think the palace is really starting to come together this garden here is still my favorite it looks beautiful we might extend some more of that. Oh, why would I say that was such a large amount of work? We will because we want it to look pretty. That's the whole idea. Um, yeah, so guys, again, I apologize that that I don't have replay footage. And um, anyway, this, this will be the episode, a little bit of show and tell. Um, and there wasn't a Craftworks episode this week. There will be one in the middle of next week. That one's basically in the can. So I've got that all recorded. All the footage is there and just being edited. So that's good. That'll be out on Wednesday, Australia time, um, out in uh, 1874 American time. Um, and, uh, and then another episode next week. I've got some plans. We're going to head back across the river. Um, so we're going to head back across here and start doing some more work over there. Um, lots to do, lots of fun stuff, lots of uh, people to talk to and things like that. So, yeah, um, guys, thank you so much for joining me this week. I love you all to death. You guys are fantastic. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe this video. Leave a comment down below of anything. Tell me how much you loved the replay footage that I didn't have, the time lapses and things. Um, and yeah, I will catch you next week for another exciting episode. See you later, guys. Have a great week. Bye-bye.